So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could create this minimalist point in After Effects without using a third party plugins. And for bonus, I'll show you how to achieve this premium look. So let's begin the episode 2 of our series Motionverse. So let's create our composition. Make sure you choose the width 1080 and height 1920 if you are creating a reel. Press OK. And our composition is created. Now, as we are creating the coin animation first, we need to create a circle. So grab the ellipse tool from here. Make sure you press shift while creating a circle just to achieve this accurate shape. Make sure you center the anchor point with the anchor point mover. Now this is a third party plugin, but it's 100% free. So I leave the link in description. Then align it with the composition. Convert it to 3D. Choose the any color you like. For now, I'm choosing a dark green. Let's say, yeah, this looks good or a little more darker then press ok you can choose any color you want of course now make sure your render engine is not classic 3d instead it should be advanced 3d let's turn on the two view option and add a camera see adding a camera is not very important but i'm creating it because i just want to show you the corners and the every side of the coin very smoothly so let's fit it to the composition and rotate around the camera zoom in a bit now you can see the corners of this coin. Select the coin, make sure you rename the layer just to keep your file organized. Open the panel, go to the geometry options and increase the extrusion depth. And notice you will find this depth over here. For now, I'm doing 45, which I think is good enough. Press C again, just to rotate. Or maybe I'll do 38, just like this. Close this panel and duplicate the coin it's coin 2 now, then press S on your keyboard to open the scale properties, then decrease the size of it. Now we cannot see the circle because it's hidden between the first circle. So press V on your keyboard to get the selection tool back. Now change the position to make sure the circle comes out of this coin. Not too much, just a little bit because we want the clean minimalistic look like 0x 100x style. Let's uh, change the color, make it dark gray. You can choose, of course, any color you like, or maybe a darker green. Whatever color you like, just choose it. We can always change it later. Now we need to increase the extrusion depth of the second circle as well. So click C. Now we want this circle to come out from front and back, both of the sides. And it's only coming from the front side for now. And the reason is because it's very tiny. So we need to increase the extrusion depth so it will come out from both sides and you can always play around with this position panel. So which is not needed at the moment. So I'm going to increase the extrusion depth until it comes out from the back like this and a little more. Now let's uh, change the position a little bit just like this and let's close this panel. And this is the look we have achieved. I think we should increase the size of the middle point just a little bit. Now don't worry about these lines. This is the camera we, as we are looking in the custom view one. So let's add the dollar sign at the middle of the coin. So grab the text tool and write dollar. Just like this, choose the font whatever you like and make sure the color is white according to our current animation. Then convert it to 3D. Make sure the anchor point is at the middle of it. And of course, you cannot see it because it's completely flat. But we are going to increase the geometry options, the extrusion depth. Just like this. So it will come out from front and the back side. Make sure it's in the exact center of the both points. Like this. Now press C again or just click it from here. Then make sure it's coming out from back side as well. If it's not, then increase the extrusion depth a little bit more like this. Now it's coming from both front and back side. So it's perfect. And also it's in the middle as well. Now let's create a null layer and link all these three layers with it. Now convert it to 3D and select these three layers, link it with the null just like this. Let's rename it as we do control point. Now press on R to open the rotation panel and in Y property, click this stopwatch icon with Alt and this expression will open. Now write time star 50 and press enter and watch. 
now we can see the dollar is getting abrupt over here see so that's the reason we need to change the position a little bit or increase the extrusion make it 55 Now it should not look abrupt. See, it's not looking abrupt now. Now select the coin layer, duplicate it, rename it to stroke. Then make sure your stroke is turned on. Then make it three and remove the fill. Now we can uh, see the white stroke is here. Now change the color to the coins color and open this panel go to material options now and find this specular shininess button and make it to 100 just like this so we can see the shine over here make sure the stroke is linked with the null layer and now we can see now you see the difference here now it's looking a lot better but we need to add a little more depth in our coin so open the coin again and go to material options and increase the specular shininess to 50% and the another coins as well do the same with another coin make it 50 as well now see the difference so now it's looking much better now you can always use the keyframes to animate the coins but as we are not creating the entire animation we are only creating the coin and I just wanted to show you how this infinite coin rotation works. So I did this for now. Our coin is now ready. So let's achieve this premium look. So let's create a new comp. Add the comp one in which your coin is. Make sure you change the render engine of this one to classic 3D from here. Go to ellipse tool, create a circle just like this. Make sure you add the fill layer, choose the radial gradient option and press OK. Make it light green and black. Light. Make sure color midpoint is like this. And I think we need to switch the colors. Just swap them like this. And it's better now. Let's rename it to light. And go to the mode option right here now if you cannot see these options you can always click here or here you will find them okay so go to here find the color dodge option and you will get this light effect so place it wherever you want now we can see this green line over here which is ruining the scene so let's click it and remove the stroke just like this the, we have achieved the same look now increase the uh, scale if needed and place it wherever you want i'll place it here and we can see now if this light is ruining your background then you can place it right over the coin wherever you want then you can use the track mat feature just like this so it will not come out from the coins area it will automatically disappear just like this so you can place it wherever you want play around with the size like this and now you can see the difference And if you could mix your creativity with what I taught you, you can create something amazing like this. The project file of today's animation, including all these points, will be available in description with many more resources. So do check it out. That's it for today's episode. This was the episode 2 of our Motionverse series. So let me know in comments if you find this video helpful or valuable or not.